through the storm, Lord, you give us peace. You release peace, Lord. I feel in my heart that there's someone that's watching and either you're symptomatic or maybe you've even been diagnosed with this virus. And I just want to declare that Jesus is with you and peace upon your body and I even sense a grace for complete healing that the Lord would come upon you, that he's your healer. He heals all of our diseases. And so we just speak to your body that is his temple, that you would be filled with the Holy Ghost and that his peace and shalom would come upon you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. We declare that his blood speaks a louder, bolder, stronger word in you and upon you. And that this meal is our provision, Lord. Your broken body and your shed blood, Lord. We put our hope and our confidence in this. This is the table that you have set before us in the presence of our enemies, Lord. We sit to dine with you. And we will be fed from your hand, your provision right now, Lord. That your broken body, Lord, took upon itself every infirmity every disease Lord it was by your stripes by your open wounds Lord your broken body is our provision in this moment and that your body is our bread and it is bread for our physical healing and so where there's symptoms where there's been diagnoses we declare the bread and body of Christ it is your source for healing right now in the name of Jesus. So belly on up, come to the table of the living God and receive his body. I see him literally sitting down and taking his body and saying it was broken for you, for this moment. He thought of this moment hanging on the cross. He knew that you would need healing and that by his stripes you have been healed that you are coming under the shadow of the cross. His finished works are sufficient for this moment. And I pray for faith to receive his provision, his daily bread, which is his body for you. So open up your mouth physically and receive this. This is your sustenance. This is your portion. This is the prescribed measure for your healing, his broken body. We just say it over you one more time that by his stripes you have been healed. So we declare that this meal is the meal that heals. So by faith partake in it. Feed your soul, feed your body, feed your spirit, his very body in the name of Jesus. Receive his body broken for you. The cornerstone, Lord of the storm. Corey, would you pray over the blood? This substance is so powerful, man. The blood of Jesus.
in our weakness we find your strength in this hour of great need in our nation lord we declare that your grace is sufficient lord we release that grace over our president we release it lord over the administration we release it over municipalities and governing authorities lord release a grace for this hour release wisdom lord right now to those that are watching a supernatural wisdom a supernatural yes. grace to endure a supernatural wisdom to make decisions lord yes. according lord to your will that will protect lord lives we declare a canopy of your grace and mercies over our nation lord that the weak can cry out to you and find grace in their time of need lord that an awakening would happen in our nation, Lord, as darkness, Lord, ensues, that a great light would come, and Lord, that people would cry out, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you, Lord, would bring about your purposes and plans, Father, that the unshakable kingdom, the unshakable kingdom, the kingdom of your beloved Son would manifest, Lord, in the hearts of people, that they would cry out, to you as Savior and Lord in this hour, oh God. May this be, Lord, the hour, Lord, of your power, where your grace would be sufficient, your power, Lord, would be found in our time of need. Lord, when we turn and we see empty shelves and empty stores and, Lord, just the shakings, the, the, the manifestation of these shakings, Lord, that people would cry out and find you, Lord, that this is the day of salvation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we look to you in hope, in faith, in expectation for what you're going to do. So thank you for encountering us tonight. Cornerstone, we love you and we trust you. Corey, would you just, in ending tonight, could we all just declare Psalms 91 verse 2? Verse 2, brother, I will say to the Lord. Yes. Come on, get your mouth ready. Get them open right now. Just say, I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. You are my refuge. You are my refuge. You are my fortress. You are my fortress. You are my God. You are my God. And in you, I will trust. And in you, I will trust. We declare it now over every one of you, over your families over your homes, Amen. over your children, and all the things surrounding you. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we honor you and we love you. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Hey, if you're in the DFW Metroplex, uh, we start praying in the morning in this room at 6 a.m. We'll be here till 8 p.m. Come and join us. If not, you can stream online. And we're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow and throughout the week. But be of courage. Receive his peace. And let's live in faith this week. So we love you. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Amen and amen.